Mr. Chairman, okay. my talk will be on cavitation resistance of welded joints of aluminum alloy. You can see here the authors. We are all from the University of Belgrade. And I will say a few words about cavitation resistance of welded joints. That means uh, all uh, actually uh, weld metal and base metal. We will not consider it affected zone on this occasion. It is three components aluminum alloy, one of the most used, alloyed with magnesium and manganese. Uh, tests were performed on welded joints, meaning weld metal actually, and base metal. So afterwards, results were compared. There were two processes involved in welding of, of this alloy, pig and nick, both of them in 100% of argon. There are also some metallographic tests that were performed, of course, so that we see how uh, the fraction, so how the damage surface looked like. And the uh, cavitation test itself was performed by ultrasonic waves using standard procedure defined by ASTM G32. Of course, our main criterion for gravitation resistance was the mass that was lost or change of the mass during the gravitation testing. Uh, you can see here micrographs of two differently welded aluminum alloys plates. Both of them were welded in four passes and some basic data is given in this uh, slide. Testing methodology was basically announced, just a few more details. Besides metallography, it was a harness that we used for testing and in the scope of gravitation resistance ultrasonic vibration methods, we have used the samples with a certain fall for circulating water and mass loss was measured by 0.1 microgram accuracy. Measurements were done every 30 minutes. So in total of 180 minutes, we had uh, six or seven results if we take zero seconds into account. So now let me move to the results. These are typical microstructures for uh, material like this. Uh, in this case, you can notice a rolling direction and also certain intermetallic chemical compounds at the grain boundaries. Uh, different from that are those uh, two microstructures presented below to the left it is uh, a dig to the right it is mig and you can see at once that uh, mig has less porosity mig will the jump here are the results for the mass loss given in uh, micrograms and you can see at once that uh, naturally base metal is the best. And then uh, MIG is better than TIG, which might be kind of surprised, but that is due to less porosity obtained by MIG, as you could see in previous slide. Here are these uh, results uh, given as the numbers. So you can <clears throat> quantify what you saw just on the previous slide. And of course, comparison is the same. Base metal is the best, then it is thick and the worst, oh, sorry, mid and the worst is thick. And explanation as already announced is uh, porosity. Probably for TIG process, we can use better technology. In future, if it is of uh, interest to, to this in investigation. But you can see also here are those uh, 
uh, fractographs, those uh, damaged uh, surfaces, uh, and you can see the damage mechanism actually resembles fatigue. It is noticeable, it was noticeable in all specimens. And that is a quite interesting observation. So this ultrasonic testing actually mechanism is close to fatigue mechanism of damage. So to conclude, and I try to save some time, this alloy has uh, base metal has, of course, the highest gravitational resistance. And then, uh, as I already said, MIG and, and then worse is TIG. So we should work out on better technology for uh, TIG process to get a better microstructure and of course less porosity there. Probably 100% argon is not the best idea in this case. Thank you.